Are you looking for new ways to increase the efficiency of your crew? The following video shows the rock and roller being used in a live demonstration at the 2011 World of Concrete trade show in Las Vegas, Nevada. The first steps are simple. Prepare the concrete the same way that you would for any other decorative concrete job. After placing and floating is complete, it's almost time to get on the concrete. Once you have bull floated and there is no visible bleed water, you are ready for the next step. When the concrete is ready, apply liquid or powder release to the slab and roll it. Place the roller on the edge of the slab and roll the pattern into the concrete with the This is a huge advantage over traditional stamps, which require you to wait for the concrete to harden enough to support the weight of the person that is doing the stamping. If you notice an imperfection in the stamped concrete that you want to fix, no problem. The light weight of the rock and roller allows you to get on the concrete while it is still wet, so you're able to float out any imperfections and roll it again. It is not necessary, but if you have a straight edge, it makes the job of the person rolling the pattern easier, ensuring a straight pass every time. If you're not getting a deep enough imprint because the concrete is hardening, just add waste to the unit and keep rolling. You may notice spots along the edge of the slab that are not fully imprinted. Rock and roller touch up wheels are ideal for this situation. Check out our full line of patterns, all of which are cast from actual stone.